What's up, e-bikers? If you're looking for an affordable fat tire step through, this 4Runner from Bandit might be your choice. We'll check it out next on the channel. So the 4Runner here is the second e-bike I've gotten from Bandit. I had their X-Trail here in the house, as you can see. You can go watch that video on my channel as well. Very similar frame styles between these two e-bikes. This one features um, a 26 by four fat tire frame with front suspension as well. You can get it in white or gray. And this is a $13.99 e-bike. It's on sale right now, normally $16.99. It fits me very well, as you can see here. I'm six foot tall and uh, no complaints on the ergonomics or the fits of this e-bike. 750 watt motor with uh, 28 miles an hour top speed that's with pedaling and there's the battery 14.5 amp hours which is good for 696 watt hours 48 volt system uh, not sure what kind of cells are in there total, uh, total charging time is six hours for this e-bike it's got hydraulic brakes 100 180 millimeter rotors and it's got nfc unlock which i'll show you later as well for safety and it features a smart color lcd display as you can see there with a uh, twist throttle there on the right hand side. It's got uh, good uh, knobby tires there for the road and uh, it's, uh, it's a good off-road bike as well. Um, not too loud on the road itself. You can see the display there which comes in uh, five different PS levels and uh, a nice smooth ride overall. It doesn't come with a rack um, so you don't have that but it's a nice, good step-through design that I think uh, many people will uh, enjoy riding. And uh, the parts and uh, parts on the sea bike are good quality. Uh, I come to see that from Bandit as well. Here's the display with the five levels of assist. Come in color-coded options there, which is a nice, uh, nice way to look at it. Very nice display here. It's one of the better displays I've seen on an e-bike, um, and I think this is on the, every one of the Bandit e-bikes that you you can buy. Here it is on the off-road trails I took it on. Very comfortable. Uh, front suspension, of course. No rear suspension, so you, but you can put a, uh, like a, a suspension seat post on there if you like. Let's take a look at it uh, and my performance test. All right, guys, we're on the Bandit 4Runner. It's a very similar e-bike to that Bandit X-Trail. This with 26 by four tires and a slightly different frame. All the same good components, and uh, it's a very nice, nicely polished e-bike here uh, that we got. 750 watt uh, rear hub motor. I think it's putting out about 75 newton meters of torque, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a quick stop here. So here's the display, and. Um, it's got six levels of assist, as you saw in my last video on the uh, X-Trail. Uh, six is the top speed. Uh, I forget if I unlocked this already, but uh, if I didn't, we'll find out here in a second. So we'll do some speed tests. Put it in PS1, Eco Level, and a very nice screen. I like the horizontal layout. Um, it's just good looking graphics. It can be a little hard to see in the sun, depending on the angle, but it's a, it's a very good screen overall. I like what it gives you uh, from a data perspective. Um, this is your basic setup here with the handlebars, the cockpit, exactly the same as the X-Trail. Same grips, same uh, control box here, same bell, same shifter, same display. So, all right, let's hit it here. Oops, I'm in Eco, it's zero. Uh, sorry, there are five levels of assist. So there's Eco zero and then Eco one, so. I should probably clarify that. All right, we're doing nine miles an hour. I can feel the motor very slightly. That's a nice leisurely base. Uh, Eco 2. Let's move it up to 12.3. Okay. Normal 3. It's like about 15. Spacing it out pretty nicely here on the uh, different levels. Normal four, we're doing 18 miles an hour. Okay, we're in sport mode five. We're at 20 points. 
nine. And they're gonna do six here, turning the corner. Here we go. Let's do a speed run. Okay, we're at 22 already, 24, 26. Any speed, there's 27, 28. 28.5 top speed on the X Trail. I'm sorry, on the, on the uh, Forerunner. All right. Very stable bike, too, with no hands. Very balanced overall. Let's ride it with no power. See how we do here. Alright, I'm in zero. We drop the gears down a bit. Yeah, I'm doing nine miles an hour. That's about it. There's ten. There's a dog. There's another dog. Hey guys. Alright. Let's go do our hill test, shall we? All right, here's my hill test. Three levels, three different levels here. Ranging from moderate to uh, steep. And they throttle only up here in this first part. Just kind of a moderate sized hill. We're doing uh, eight miles an hour. We're not gaining speed. So, yeah, I don't think these bandits have a really torquey motor back there overall. So, all right, now we're gaining some speed, 8.6, there's 9, all right, wait, 9, and 9.7, 9.6, 9.5, so it's kind of meandering here, I'm going to start pedaling, it's not doing that well there, all right, we're in uh, top level 6, I'm in third gear on the uh, gearing, Doing 14.7, gaining speed here as we start to climb this steeper part. All right, we're doing 15 now. It's going to drop from here. Let's see how low we can go. We're at 12. We're at 11. We're at 10.5, 10.3. There's 10, oh, 9.8, 9.6, 9.5 was the lowest. 9.5. All right. Uh, not my best 750 watt hill climber. Let's check it out on this really steep 12% grade up here and see how it does. I'm not going to do throttle only. I'll just do, I'll pedal on this thing, but this is a really steep hill. You can see here, we're doing nine, eight point one eight eight miles an hour that was the lowest eight miles an hour up the steeper part of the hill now it's gaining speed again all right you know average uh nothing to brag about but an average climber there on the hills Let's go do a downhill run and uh, test the brakes out. Heard a little squeaking in the brakes, so just heard some there. We'll see how that does on this downhill. So we're just going to coast down this big hill here and uh, see what top speed we can reach. And again, check the brakes at the end. All right, here we go. Twenty-two and climbing. Oh, come some raindrops. Wasn't expecting that today. We're at twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Ice and stable down the hill. Thirty-one. Looks like that might be the top speed here. Thirty-one miles an hour. Can we beat it? Oh no, it was a car. Huh. 
Well, there you go. Tested the brakes a little inadvertently there. Let's wrap it up in the woods here. Let me get these tree stumps and roots. And the rain's coming down. So in case you missed the uh, cool part of this bike on my uh, first Banded e-bike, the X-Trail, this has a really cool feature called NFC Unlock. Turn the bike on, you get this uh, password screen. You take this NFC key, which is basically like a key, and unlocks it. Hold it over there, and the display comes up. The bike is ready to roll. You can't ride the bike without this unlocking this uh, with the NFC key. So always keep this with you, otherwise you'll be out of luck. So there's a look at the bike uh, here on the uh, in the woods on this little trail. Um, it's a really solid e-bike. It's very similar to the X-Trail, as I said, basically from the front half on. It's just a different tire size and a different frame in the back here. But um, a really solid e-bike, good, good quality parts, uh, nothing majorly wrong with it. I do have some uh, things I don't like about the bike. We'll start up front with the... Um, this cable wiring here, management, whatever you want to call it. I had to throw a zip tie on here to uh, wrangle this a bit back into place. I like these cables just basically stay in the front like this. So they look better. Uh, this one's kind of just a little bit messy there. So uh, nothing major to complain about, but you know, it is, uh, what else? There's no rack back here on this e-bike. Um, you know, for $13.99, which is on sale, I think. Uh, I like to see a rack back there. Uh, they're not very expensive. You do have front and rear lighting on here and a brake light as well, I believe. Yeah, it's, uh, the brake light is uh, coming on there as I hit the brakes, as you can see. No suspension, but uh, the seat's average, of course. Uh, the power is okay. I like It'd be nicer if it was a little more powerful overall. But you do get 28 miles an hour top speed with pedaling. Uh, you got that throttle up there, the MC unlock. And uh, overall, it's a goodie bike. Uh, is it worth the money? I'd say yeah. It's a good value for $13.99 uh, for what you get here. Um, maybe would like to see a rack back there uh, to just top it off in terms of utility. But um, overall, the Bandit is a good 26x4. I would equate this to the Nomad, um, the Velatric Nomad I've had on the channel. Very similar specs. Um, that one came also without a rack. I forget what the price was. But um, I think that one had a, I think the Veltrek had a 14 amp hour battery. This is a 14.5. So you're not going to get too crazy of a range on this thing. You know, my guess is 28, 30 miles in real work conditions. It weighs about 70 pounds. So it's a little bit lighter than the X-Trail. I think the X-Trail was 77, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, but uh, it's a solid e-bike. Uh, worth the $13.99? Yeah, I think so. And uh, I would definitely, you know, this is a bike I would have no problem forking over that money for. So, uh, but uh, we should get some more Bandit e-bikes coming soon. So stay tuned for those. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, check the link in the description if you want to buy one of these. And uh, hook up the channel up with a little commission there. So appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time on Criss Crossed.